Hey guys, Dark with Cyclone FPV, and I'm going to do a video build series today on the new Tank 95 HD. I will be doing the same build for Tank 95, the analog series, but for right now, I'm going to do the HD series today because I've got two guys that I've promised to build these for that I've got to ship out today, and then I've got a slew of other people that have ordered them for the build kits, and I promised them to have them ready too. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to cut right into it. I'm going to show you this first part is just going to be the contents, okay? Now, yours may vary depending on if we make changes or if you order a different version of it. We're going to vary them a little bit, but this is the overall idea of what you're going to be expecting to receive. Uh, when you get our kit. So let me go ahead and just go over this and then we'll jump into the building portion. All right, so let's go through this real quick. First thing is uh, prop wise, we're gonna do the Hokie 1940 uh, props. So you can expect some of those. We may change that down the road, but for right now, this is the ones we're gonna use. You will also receive an HGLRC um, 15 amp AIO uh, 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 flight controller and ESC combination. Um, you will receive a, a Vista antenna. This is the eight centimeter cable version. This is the short antenna. All right, you will receive four HGLRC FD1103 8000 KV motors. Okay, so you can verify that. And as I do this, I'm gonna move them off the bench because we're gonna start here. You will see a uh, one long piece of tape that you will quarter off. So you fold it in half, fold it in half again, cut it, and that is what we'll use for the motors. You will receive four pre-cut um, uh, prop guards. All right, so we're gonna set those aside and I'll go over those later, set those aside. And then you're gonna receive your frame, obviously. And here's your frame. You've got the three millimeter base of the tank. You've got the two camera mounts uh, that are two millimeter. You've got the top plate that's two millimeter. You've got four 20 millimeter standoffs, M2 standoffs. You've got eight eight millimeter uh, M2 screws. And then you've got four of these 25 millimeter M2s. And on each one of those, you're gonna have five uh, rubber rings and then a, uh, a nylon fastener. Okay, so you've got all that. And this is what we're gonna start with here. So we're gonna go ahead and begin by just doing step one, which is getting the frame ready. So I'm gonna, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the top plate, put it aside, and the camera mounts to put it aside. And we're just gonna get started here. And understand, I, I cut my hand right here. So if I'm kind of sloppy with the screwdriver, it's not me being dumb. I'm just, it's a little harder to hold today. First thing is what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, let's take one of the um, 25 mil screws. Let's lay the uh, plastic, uh, or the rubber rings right here. And let's go ahead and mount this into the 20 by 20. So on the bottom here, you can see it's a 20 by 20 and then a 16 by 16. We're gonna be using the 20 by 20 today. So put one in there. And then once you get that in there, go ahead and put the fastener on top and screw that all the way down to the frame. And you're gonna repeat that process for all four of these 25 mil screws, okay? And I had a automatic screwdriver here somewhere. Oh, here, I can't find my original one. I can't find the, the bit to it. So I'm just gonna use this one for now. Um, all right, once that's in, open up the next 25 mil screw, remove those rubber rings as well, and let those just sit on the bench somewhere on your build on your build mat. Put the next one in. All right, get that started. use a regular screwdriver because these get pretty low anyway all right let's do the third one put that in here and then finally the last one Okay, so with that done, what we should end up having is we should have our four 25 mil M2 screws put in with the fasteners against the frame to stop these from moving and falling out. Now, it's your choice, and I'm gonna go ahead and put mine in. It's your choice if you wanna put the standoffs in now or not. Uh, sometimes it's better because then if you're running your wires, you know how to run them. Uh, you know you, you know what to avoid or how to run them plan to run them around the standoffs I'm gonna go ahead and put mine in and if I find that they're getting in the way during this build I'll remove them as needed But I can tell you that the flight controller sits very close to the rear standoffs So you're gonna want to make sure 
uh, that you uh, prepare properly and that you space it properly and you make sure your solder is done properly. Everything so that it doesn't touch this, okay? So I'm gonna put both of, I'm gonna put all four of mine on here, which is gonna basically leave me with four eight millimeter M2 screws, which will be used for the top plate. So I'm gonna scoot those out of the way here in just a second. All right, and this is basically the end of step one. All right, we've got all four standoffs on. We're using eight millimeter screws on the bottom. We've got four 25 millimeter screws and M2 screws in place with the nylon uh, fasteners there. So I'm gonna take the eight millimeter screws that are for the top plate, move those over, leave these just like they are right now, and we'll be back to go to step two, which is gonna be to get the flight controller ready. See you guys in just a